folks. Hold on to your hats and pass those Kellogg's Corn Pops. Because here comes Guy Madison as Wild Bill and his pal Jingles, which is me, Andy Devine. We got another rootin' tootin' Wild Bill Hickok adventure story for you from that great new cereal with the sweetening already on it, Kellogg's Corn Pops! Kellogg's Corn Pops brings you Wild Bill Hickok starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. <laughs> Gold. That was the magic word that lured men into the wastelands, that turned deserted villages into roaring boom towns, bringing with it dreams of happiness and glory. But always to cloud the dream came greed, avarice, crime, and sudden death. In Black City, the fabulous gold boom town, Death, struck without warning and brought United States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his deputy Jingles to investigate the case of the unlucky seven. I tell you, Bill, I don't like it. I just plum don't like it. I'm going to be sorrier than ducks in Arizona I ever came from there. Still time to change your mind, Jingles. Oh, what, just two hoops and a holler to Black City? Black City's another hour's ride. All right, but when I get there, I'm going to sleep for 40 days and 40 nights. If the noise doesn't wake you. Noise? Oh, what noise is that, Bill? Liable to be a little shooting. Shooting? Oh, now, Bill, there you go again. Now, what are we getting into? I don't know, Jingles. But seven men have disappeared out of Black City. Well, I still don't know no more than a mule-eared rabbit. Bill, I got a right to know what I'm doing here. That's easy. Oh, yeah. Seven men have gone, right? Right, sure, sure, sure. So, you're number eight. Oh, is that a... Who, me disappear? Well, nominate your pardon, gents. I aim to propose a toast. To our dear departed comrades, gone but not forgotten. Especially poor old Thaddeus Jeffy, rest his soul. We'll all miss that. But in the midst of life, we're or in death, Sheriff Salinas. Yes, Judge. And one man's loss is another man's gain, eh, Judge Boscom? Well, if it ain't our fighting editor, Silas McGregor. What makes you so certain that Sheffy is dead, Sheriff? Hey, you found the corpus delicti. I don't savvy your lingo, McGregor. Maybe you'd like to explain that remark. Aye, I'll explain it, and to great length, in this week's issue of the semaphore, Judge Boscombe. You'll explain it now, McGregor. I'm the law in Black City. Sheriff Salinas, he's my strong right arm. Read it in the semaphore, Boscombe. You didn't provoke me to fight with your hired gunman. Why, you ornery old fellow. I'll ask you three questions, Boscombe. What happened to the seven men who disappeared? Why did each man make a rich gold strike before he vanished? Why did each man side over the deed to his claim to you, Boscom? Why, I bought them claims from the poor fellows all legal and proper. Mr. Faraday made out the papers and I got the deeds to prove it. As to where they went after that, that's their business and none of mine. You're riding for a fall, Judge Boscom. No man can set himself up as the law. This is still America. And the will of the people is still the law here. The will of the people says, step down, McGregor. You talk too much. <laughs> Let him talk, mister. Well, what's this? Here's our Mr. McGregor. has got himself an audience after all. Yeah. And cocky is the king of spades, too. I don't believe we've met, stranger. We haven't. Better clear out, stranger. This here don't concern you. Careful, lad. I didn't know who you are. But Salinas is the fastest trigger man in the state. It's not such a big state. All right, now I'm telling you, get out. Take your hands off of me. You heard me, get. Not so fast. <laughs> Assistant officer, will you? I'm sorry you did that, Sheriff. Maybe you're sorry, too. Here, here, here. Get up there, Salinas. Hey, can I get up, Boskin? He's cold. I'll get him up. Hey, let's have that picture of water here. Cut it out. Let me alone. I, I had enough. I, I think he broke my jaw. Get up, Salinas. You'll live. You're right, I'll live. 
If only to see you dead, mister. I didn't know your name, but I'd be honored to hit your hand, sir. Well, the honor's all mine. The name is Hickok. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, now, 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 gents. Now, now, now. No sense in all this whittle wagon. I figure folks can settle their grievances uh, quiet like. Uh, you, Wild Bill Hickok, the U.S. Marshal? That's right. I reckon you owe the Marshal an apology, Sheriff. Uh, sure. I'm sorry, Marshal. I just didn't say that, so. After all, we're both law officers, ain't we? It looks that way. Well, that's one thing we got plenty of in Black City, Mr. Hickok. Law. And there's no crime in Black City to speak of. Well, maybe so. But before I ride on, Judge, I'll be dropping by your office in the morning, if you don't mind. No, why not at all, Hickok, not at all. Glad to see you any time. Thanks. I'd like a look at those deeds of yours. Why, uh, well, sure thing you know, Marshal. Well, I think you're throwing your saddle on the wrong horse. There ain't a loophole in the lot. Oh, I reckon they're all legal, Judge. You're too slick to let anyone sell you a bill of goods. <laughs> well, thanks for the compliment, Marshal. So long, then. Come on, McGregor. Let's talk at your office. Delighted, Mr. Hickok. I'm going out the back way, Judge. I can get Hickok when he crosses Elm Street. Hey, hold on, Salinas. This is too good to be true. What do you mean? That pesky old meddler, McGregor. I arranged an accident for him over at the newspaper office. What kind of accident, Judge? An old kerosene lamp. He's going to knock it over when he opens the door. The floor's soaked with kerosene, and the place will go up like a tinderbox. And inside, there's a few sticks of dynamite from the mine. <laughs> Judge, you think everything. <laughs> no, not everything. I didn't think of getting two birds with one stone. McGregor and Wild Bill Hickok. <laughs> Well, this is my humble office, Marshal. Funny, I didn't recall leaving the lamp lit. Get back. I have fire. Help, my press, my papers. Look out, man, I've got to put it Come out. Come back, McGregor. The trap. Oh, let go of me. I have to save my paper. <laughs> Hi, partners. Here's your old sidekick, Panhandle Jim. Right good show, huh? <laughs> sure is. You know, lots of young buckaroos, when they listen to a show like this, get so excited they like to nibble on something. Well, I got an idea for that. What you ought to do is bite into a handful of Kellogg's Corn Pops. Sure, because Kellogg's Corn Pops is a wonderful new eating cereal that's already sweetened for you. Now, come Wild Bill Hickok time on the radio, I sat back and listened while I eat my corn pops right out of the box. Come breakfast time, I eat them in a bowl with milk. No sugar, mind you. The sweetening's already there, and plenty of it. And while you're digging in for another handful of corn pops, look at the shiny silver-like bag that your corn pops are sealed in right inside the box. That shiny bag is pure aluminum. It keeps your Kellogg's corn pops fresh up to ten times longer. Hey, and tell your mom this. That bag is plum wonderful, the way you can use it to store things in the refrigerator or for wrapping sandwiches and keeping them fresh and tasty. Now, you're going to want Kellogg's Corn Pops at your place, sure, if you haven't already got them, like most folks. Now, listen to this. Kids love Pops. Moms love Pops. Pops love Pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops. We'll all say that together in a little while. Right now, let's get back to Wild Bill Hickok. <laughs> Wild Bill and editor Silas McGregor were fighting the fire set by Judge Bascom in the semaphore office when the flames reached the dynamite and the office exploded. McGregor, you all right? Aye, lad. Thanks. You saved my life by pushing me back of that press. Come on. I'll help you to the door. No, no, I'm all right. I'll make it alone. Ah, here comes the bucket brigade. Bless their heart. Hey, Marshal, Marshal, McGregor, so what happened here? I don't know yet, Bascom, but Try I'll and find save out. the press, lad. Oh, terrible, terrible accident. I think the only accident, Bascom, is that no one was killed. Huh? What's that? You reckon it was foul play, Marshal? Why, Judge, you said yourself there's no crime in Black City. <laughs> Oh, 
And you say when you examined Bascom's deeds this morning, Bill, everything was legal, huh? Well, I didn't exactly say that. I said everything looked legal. Aye, there's a heap of difference, Mr. Jingles. All right, Jingles. Now's the time for you to disappear. And don't worry, I'll be close by. Well, I'll do like you said, Bill, but I just know I ain't gonna like it. Well, here's luck, partner. <laughs> okay, here it goes. <laughs> Strutting like a turkey. How come? Uh, shh. Now, don't tell us so. I'm rich. Rich, I says. Maybe the richest man in the whole darn U.S. of A. <laughs> hey, you don't say so. Yes, sir. Just filed my claim on the prettiest gold strike you ever did see. Come on, gents, and treat some me. <laughs> Get him what they want. Well, well, Salinas, what have we here? A nice fat pig just begging to be stuck. Not for me, Judge. Not with Hickok in town. My sheriff, I'm surprised. We ain't gonna let a juicy marshal like this get away, are we? I don't like it. That Hickok is plenty bad medicine. Ah, quit your whining, Salinas. Just this once more, we'll kill ourselves a fat hog. Then we'll sell out, pull up stakes, and get. See you later. Prettiest gold strike you ever did see. Uh, howdy, stranger. My name's Bascom. Well, Judge Bascom, that is. Well, howdy, Judge. Howdy. You know, I heard tell about you. Well, that's fine. Uh, step aside here, stranger. Uh, let's have a little powwow. Uh, all right, neighborly judge. You being so nice to me. Oh, no. Glad to do it. Think nothing of it. Now, uh, Sheriff Salinas will bear me out in this, I'm sure. Uh, it ain't safe for a man who's made as rich a strike as you to go unprotected among strangers. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's just possible there's a crook or two in town. No. Yep, it's just possible. Well, who would have ever thunk it? Now, uh, I'll tell you what. You go on and have your celebration, but stick close to Sheriff Salinas here. Don't go anywhere without him, savvy? Aye, savvy. You know, it's sure nice of you to put yourself to so much trouble for me, Judge. No, 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 not at all, not at all, not at all, my boy. Yeah. When I do a good deed, son, I figure I'll be well rewarded. Yes, sir. Well rewarded. <laughs> You think it'll be all right, Mr. Hickok? We've been waiting out here in this doorway nearly two hours. Yeah, it's all right. I can see everything from here. You think they'll take your bait, Mr. Hickok? <laughs> Looks like they swallowed it whole. Then you're positive that Bascom and the sheriff are behind these disappearances. Well, not for publication, Mr. McGregor. We still need proof. I look. Someone's coming out now. It's Jingles. With the sheriff and Bascom, too. Shh. They're headed this way, toward the hitching post. Get back. Deputy is playing his part better away. I'm a lone dry dog. And this is my nice house. Yep. Now just go to the trap and heave yourself up over the saddle. Come on, I'll give you a boost. Stop. Oh, you consarn loco sheep herder. Judge, he stuck his boot right in my mouth. Quiet, tell you this. We don't want to attract no more notice than we have to like to plug them right now. Now, you darn fool, you know I don't like guns. Guns make noise. Sure, you like things done quiet, I know. Now, now, look at him. Peaceful as a baby, stretched over your saddle. Now, you take him out of town slow and easy. That way, if anything goes wrong on your way to Salt River, you ain't got a dead body hanging over your saddle horn. Just a good time Charlie who's had one too many, savvy? Go on now, vamoose. Okay, I'm on my way. Quiet, like. Come on, horse. Well, reckon I'd better mosey back and do some mingling. Hmm. What's this? Looks like somebody dropped something. I'll just take a look-see. 
Hmm. That's funny. Great goodness. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard. Where's Salt River? Oh, why didn't I think of that before? It's the answer, Marshal. Salt River Flats. Salt River Flats? What's there? What is it? Salt River Flats is quicksand. <laughs> Just a second, Rangers. Let me simmer down here from all the goings on and catch my breath a little. <laughs> uh. Hey, you know one reason why Wild Bill Hickok was better than most anybody in the West at keeping law and order? He was a two-gun man, good with both hands, both ways when it come to shooting. Now, the reason why Kellogg's Corn Pops is better than most other cereals is that it's a two-way cereal, and it's good at pleasing folks both ways when it comes to eating. One way is right out of the box, like I'm eating them now. Yes, sir, they're a real tasty snack with a sweetening already on them. Now, the other way to eat corn pops is out of the bowl with milk. But remember what I said about the sweetening. Don't go wasting sugar on them. They're already sweetened for you. Tasty, puffed-up hearts of corn all ready to go. Now, just because they're good doesn't mean they're not good for you. My partners, they're a real two-gun, two-way cereal with B vitamins, vitamin D, with important minerals and food energy, too. So if you aren't already settled back enjoying Kellogg's Corn Pops right now, you better saddle up and ride down the store tomorrow and get a load of them. You'll need plenty, because the whole family's going to be getting into them. Now let's say our little saying all together. Kids love Pops, moms love Pops, and Pops love Pops. Good for you. Right now, I'm almost busting to get back to the show. Let's go. Now, Wild Bill Hickok has the answer to the disappearing men. Quicksand at Salt River Flats hides their fate. While Sheriff Salinas heads for the quicksand to get rid of Jingles, Bascom and Faraday follow not far behind. Yep, Faraday. Maverick must have lost his deputy badge when we hung him over the saddle. He must be Wild Bill Hickok's deputy. Uh, that's right. He's too close for comfort, I tell you. Why don't you and me just start riding the other way? You're not going anywhere, Faraday. You forged them pony papers. You're in this just deep as I am. Uh, Hickok bluffed us into showing our hand. But I still hold the ace. I know these hills around Salt River better than Hickok does. And I know the spot to put a bullet in him before he ever knows what hit him. Hey, you loco, you gonna swap shots with Bill Hickok? No, sir, Faraday, not that loco. Nope. I figure there's only one place where a bullet can reach a man like Hickok. That's in the back. <laughs> Still out like a light. And I reckon this is the end of the trail for him. Salt River. Oh, steady. Steady. Oh. Now to drag him off that saddle and put him out of his misery. Oh. <laughs> Why, you good for nothing, pole cat? Pull your head in, you darn sidewinder. I got a kick like a mule. Oh, playing possum, were you? Well, just for that, I'm going to make you wish you never met me. I've been wishing that right along. Never mind going for your gun. It ain't there. I lifted it out on the ride here. Oh. <laughs> now, you <laughs> slick coyote, take a squint down the muzzle of this one. Well, now, 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 now look here, Sheriff. <laughs> Can't we just sort of talk this thing over quiet like? Get back, then. Uh, Further back. Wait. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Let's see you kick your way out of that, you knothead. Hey, hey, get me out of here, eh? I can't get loose. No, and what's more, you never will. That's quicksand, bucko. But I'm sinking, and I'm going under, Sheriff. Oh, for the love of Mike, give me a hand, will you? I can't stay up. Well, I'll give you a bullet to close your mouth. Ow! My hand. What the... Kick off. That shooting, Bill. Jingles. Don't struggle. Keep as still as you can. I'll throw you on my rope. Got it, Bill. Hang on. Up, boy. Up, boy. I'll finish you for that, Hickok. Look out, Bill. Get down. Uh, well, that's all for him. Hold on, Jingles. Up, boy. Up. Uh, I can't build the ropes with. 
keep slipping. The quicksand is pulling me down. Whoa, whoa, boy. Hold it. Keep that line tight. I'm coming, Jingles. Uh, uh, hurry, Bill. I can't hold on. I'm going under. Here, partner. I'll try to grab you. There. Got you. Come on now. Let's pull together. Get the dirt, Bill. Oh, the great Hickok bites the dust. <laughs> How do you like that shooting, Marshal? It's Bascom. Well, why don't you draw? This is like shooting fish in a barrel. Go on, Bill. Go for your gun. I can't, Jingles. He knows if I let you go. Well, you're a goner. Oh. Ooh, that was close. If he gets around that bowler, he'll have a clear shot. <laughs> you got to admit, Hickok, I'm improving. Get him, Bill. You got to. Can't you let go with one hand? All right. But if I slip... You won't slip. I figure I got the range now, Hickok. The next one's the last one. Jingles. When I kick around, you try to grab my leg. Sure, Bill, I'm game. Oh, you sure are, partner. Now, where is he? Probably moving down closer so he can't miss. There he is. <laughs> that did it. Now, Jingles, let's get out of here. Don't shoot, Marshal. I give up. Don't shoot. Now, who in thunder's that? Uh, I'll confess, Marshal. You wouldn't plug an unarmed man. I confess. All right, whoever you are, you can confess later. Now, crawl down all those rocks and give us a hand. I'm coming, Marshal. I'm coming. Don't shoot. Don't shoot now. Here you be, Marshal. The very first paper off the press. We are full account of your daring exploit. Careful, man. The ink is too wet. Thank you, Mr. McGregor. I'll be proud to keep this for a souvenir. Ah, the people of Black City. Well, they'll never be done with thanking you, Marshal, for what you did. Well, it's Jingles, I should think. He smoked the buzzards out. Poor lad. He'll want a heap of rest and quiet. Yeah! Hiya, Bill, and hiya, Mr. McGregor. Well, what's this? Oh, it's me, Bill. Feast your eyes, then close them and just smell me. Jingles. What on thunder have you done to yourself? Well, I'm all slicked up for the dance tonight. Bill, I'm a hero. Well, that's mighty nice, partner. Sorry I can't join you. Huh? Oh, but Bill, you gotta be there. I promise. And I promise to ride out west. Seems they could use some new law out there. Oh, Bill. Well, couldn't you at least wait until I saddled up? <laughs> I saddled up for you, partner. Let's go. Oh. Oh, Bill, and just when I smell so pretty. And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. I hope you enjoyed our story today and that you'll be with us again when we come next week. We've got quite a story. Oh, boy, we meet up with a gang that even scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Andy and I also hope you'll start enjoying Kellogg's Corn Pops. Right, it's the great new cereal with the sweetening already on. Uh, you bet it is. Andy and I think Corn Pops are great. So long. See you next week. <laughs> Yes, sir. Don't you forget, next week at this same time on this same station, Kellogg's Corn Pops will bring you another story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Remember, kids love pops, moms love pops, pops love pops. Kellogg's Corn Pops. Our story was written by Doug Hayes and directed by Paul Pierce. This is Charlie Lyon. Music was by Dick Laurent, and this is a David Heyer production. <laughs>